Hello and welcome to Ideas and Trends. Today we are going to show you more than 100 ideas of arranging or decorating your bookshelves. These are the latest designs of bookshelves in your home. How to start a bookshelf when you have a lot of books? It's a question in your mind always. I am not going to deny it. I love looking at a perfectly styled shelf with plenty of breathing room and lots of interestingly displayed objects. There are many great posts out there that break down the formula for your perfect style bookshelf and this video isn't that. However, many of us need our bookshelves to act as just that, a place to hold our book. Don't feel bad if you don't have all leather and gold bound books or a separate room in your house just to hold your well-worn and dog ears paperbacks. There are ways to make bookshelves with majority books look a little more creative and I can show you how I have got three great tips of making your bookshelf look a little more styled. Number one, very horizontal and vertical tacking. I like to start by dividing up all my books by size. This way I can grab books to work with easily. I start by making a few horizontal stacks that can be my anchors C, A, B and C. If you like the size of a book in your stack but the title is silly or the color doesn't work, just turn it around. No one will notice. Horizontal stacks tends to be bigger books so I like to place them near the bottom of the bookshelves and vary their placement in a zigzag. If you have some larger objects, it's nice to place them on these layer shelves as well. A globe, squatty, vase, decorative box, plant or nice bowl works great. Second, add color to the bookshelf backside. This is a great way to make your bookshelf look more harmonious. It may don't want to plant, you can always use contact paper or temporary wallpaper in a solid color. I painted the back of my IKEA bookshelf in regular latex wall paint and because the back attaches separately, I was able to lay it flat to paint and it was a cinch. If you are feeling more adventurous, you could use a texture like grass cloth or even a pattern. Because grass cloth is stiff, it is super easy to apply and you could definitely attach it with a little double stick tape. These buildings are definitely something to aspire to. Notice the green extends in the side of the bookshelf, which is definitely an option too. No, I do like the look of books placed with the spine in on a shelf and it really works in this case. However, I would keep this technique for the upper shelves where you may not be able to read the title anyway or if you have questionable taste in books, definitely do this. Okay, so there are not a ton of books on this shelf but look how nicely that textured backdrop looks trimmed out with ribbon. These jugs aren't bad either. Number 3. Display books by size and use book ends. If you can adjust your shelves, I like to keep the top shelves a bit smaller. I keep all of my shorter paper bags in these upper shelves. This uniformity and above eye level placement keeps you from focusing on this area too much. If you need almost the whole width of the shelf for book, adding in bookends is a great way to make it look more intentional. I like to keep the height of my books consistent between bookends to get the most bang up your buck you can tack books slash to smile against the edge of the shelf and break up the bookend pair onto two different shelves have fun with the bookends they don't have to be scholarly you want to hook people with your quirky objects only to impress them with your great taste in literature bonus tip don't forget you can stack and layer back to front and always lean some artwork if you have it don't forget to have fun and get creative with it. So, in this way you can decorate and arrange your books in your bookshelves. And here are different ideas of bookshelves for your home. You can choose any of it for your beautiful home and must share with us that which design or which style you have liked. And if you find this video useful, then like it, share it and also subscribe my channel. Thank you.